next program or next screen, this is balance. And on this screen, you see these bars. And you see some of them are highlighted, some of them not highlighted. So uh, the principle is false. Here we present most of organs and systems that have late or left right presentation. That's why uh, not all, all organs and systems are presented here, but only that they have two uh, types of presentation. And then if we see difference in energy more than 20% or 15% even between left and right, then we highlight this bar. So the more highlighted bars you have, the more unbalanced the system. And what does it mean balanced, unbalanced? We can describe this in the notion of sympathetic parasympathetic nervous system. We have so-named autonomic nervous system that runs 24 hours, seven days per week, non-stop for all our life, whether we uh, wake up or whether we sleep. Uh, and it governs activity of all organs and systems. And we have two sides of this uh, autonomic nervous system. One is sympathetic, another parasympathetic. So sympathetic, it is activation. Parasympathetic, it is relaxation. And they should be in balance all the time. So we have some stress, we activate our body, our system. We activate our heart beat, we activate blood uh, uh, level, uh, we activate sugar level. So it's a lot of process in the body and of course immune system, nervous system. Uh, but then of course we need to relax. So for, uh, normal, for uh, balanced people, they activate and then relax. But many people, they activate and don't relax. And this is a really very serious problem. So we can talk about permanent stress, long-term stress. It means overactivation of sympathetic nervous system and not efficient activity of parasympathetic nervous system. So at this screen, we see just this situation. Green bars, they are related to sympathetic nervous system. Blue bars, they are related to parasympathetic. Why do we know this? We did uh, several clinical tests, clinical trials, where we we were able to compare bio readings with uh, heart rate variability, HRV. And HRV is accepted uh, way of measuring activity of sympathetic parasympathetic nervous system. And it was shown very good correlation. That's why, of course, this is empirical still. It's empirical observation, but we can talk about this. So look at this screen. We see one, two, three, four, four in green, and very big difference, sympathetic nervous system, one to three, parasympathetic. So even if level of stress is low, by this we can include, yes, but there are some overactivation. Some, not very strong, but some. For in, mo in most cases, we see all the bars highlighted. In this case, we see only some of them. So this situation is not aggravated, it's not so bad, but still we pay attention to this and we need to understand what's going on and we need to discuss with this particular person. And in this case, if we look to chakras, we see they're scattered. And three of them are uh, shifted to intraverse side. So it is indication for us that this particular lady has something related to psychological troubles, psychological emotions, and of course it doesn't allow her to relax. And uh, so we make analysis. You see this program, this program, and chakras, and we can make real final conclusion that yes, this situation have to be addressed. And then, of course, we can see to which organs and system it is related to and pay attention to those organs and systems.